The Pacific Ocean is the largest and deepest ocean on Earth. It covers more than 30% of the planet's surface, and in fact, the Pacific is even larger than the combined landmass covering the entire Earth. Not only is the Pacific huge, but it is also the deepest. The Mariana Trench, located in the Pacific Ocean, is the deepest trench known on Earth and has several deep points. Furthermore, the Pacific is also considered one of the most dangerous places on the planet. Around 90% of the world's earthquakes and approximately 75% of the world's volcanoes occur within this region. Additionally, the Pacific Ocean is home to most of the islands in the world. Some of these islands serve as strategic locations for military bases. These bases often play a critical role in monitoring and controlling major maritime trade routes that pass through the Pacific. In this video, we will explore all of these factors that make the Pacific Ocean one of the most important and influential places on Earth. Geographically, the Pacific Ocean serves as a natural boundary, separating the continents of Asia and Australia from the Americas. The Pacific is incredibly vast, reaching its maximum east-west width of approximately 19,800 kilometers from Indonesia to the coast of Colombia. To put this in perspective, this distance is not only halfway around the world, but also surpasses more than five times the diameter of the moon. The Pacific Ocean is not only vast, but it is also incredibly deep, with an average depth of around 4,000 meters. This makes it one of the deepest oceans on Earth. Within this vast expanse, you can find some of the deepest points on the planet's surface. One such point is the Mariana Trench, located in the northwestern Pacific. It holds the record for the deepest known point on Earth. This trench is home to the Challenger Deep, which plunges to an astonishing depth of 10,928 meters. In the Southern Hemisphere, you will find the Horizon Deep, which reaches a depth of 10,823 meters. These trenches highlight the incredible diversity and depth within the Pacific Ocean, housing some of the deepest spots known to humankind. The Pacific Ocean contains most of the world's islands, totaling about 25,000 spread across its waters. These islands are grouped into three main categories, Micronesia, Melanesia, and Polynesia. Micronesia consists of roughly 2,000 small islands situated in the northwestern Pacific Ocean. To the southwest of Micronesia is Melanesia, incorporating New Guinea, the second largest island globally after Greenland, and the largest in the Pacific. Polynesia, covering the largest area among the three groups, stretches from Hawaii in the north to New Zealand in the south. The Pacific Ocean is not only vast and deep, but it is also an incredibly challenging location on our planet. The region surrounding the Pacific Ocean, known as the Pacific Rim, is highly active with numerous volcanoes and earthquakes. In fact, it is referred to as the Ring of Fire, as approximately 90% of the world's earthquakes and around 75% of the world's volcanoes occur within this area. The reason behind this geological activity is the constant movement of the Pacific Plate, which is a massive portion of the Earth's surface. It collides with or slides against other plates around it. As these plates shift, they generate significant shaking, resulting in earthquakes. Occasionally, these earthquakes occur beneath the ocean, triggering tsunamis, powerful waves that travel across the ocean. When these tsunamis reach land, they can cause catastrophic destruction. Before Europeans arrived in the 16th century, native islanders had already been living in the Pacific region for a significant amount of time. They had their own way of life, with different cultures and communities on different islands in the region. The European exploration of the Pacific began with Ferdinand Magellan's voyages in the early 1520s. He was a Portuguese explorer who sailed under the Spanish expeditions. His journey helped Europeans understand and mapping of the Pacific region. However, the exploration and significant discoveries in the Pacific didn't fully take off until the 18th century. During this time, the British and the French were the most active in exploring and discovering new islands and territories in the Pacific. 
they undertook various expeditions, mapping out the region, establishing colonies, and documenting the cultures and resources they encountered. Underneath the Pacific Ocean, there are specific locations where valuable metals, such as copper and nickel, can be found. These metals exist in various forms, including lumps, crusts, and fragments of metallic material. Certain areas, such as the Galapagos Islands, specific ridges in the northeastern part of the Pacific, as well as the East China Sea and off the coast of New Guinea, possess unique hydrothermal vents. These vents give rise to a distinct type of rock that is rich in metals and, over an extensive period of time, these deposits accumulate. Although the Pacific Ocean may not have as much oil and gas as other regions, there are still significant reserves in some areas. Countries surrounding the Pacific, such as Russia, Canada, the United States, and certain Southeast Asian nations engage in offshore drilling to extract oil and gas from their coastal waters. Therefore, while these resources may not be abundant everywhere, there are specific locations where they are extracted from beneath the ocean's surface. The Pacific Ocean hosts some of the globe's most critical trade routes. Its vast expanse connects various regions and countries, facilitating the movement of goods, resources, and commodities between different parts of the world. The Trans-Pacific Route connects the western coast of North America, particularly ports in the United States with East Asia, including countries such as China, Japan, South Korea, and Taiwan. It's one of the busiest trade routes globally, facilitating the transportation of goods, raw materials, and manufactured products between these major economic regions. There are also numerous military bases strategically positioned across the vast Pacific Ocean region to maintain security, project power, and support military operations. Some of the key military bases include Pearl Harbor in Hawaii, which is one of the most iconic military bases globally for the United States. Guam, a U.S. territory in the Western Pacific, hosts several military installations, including Anderson Air Force Base and Naval Base Guam. Yokosuka and Okinawa, which hosts a major U.S. naval base in Japan. 